Yeah, thank you very much. Actually, this is the first public appearance of Calix, so I'm very grateful for the opportunity. And uh, I'm going to talk about Calix, this new DeFi lending parachain with uh, this on-chain collateral liquidation. So let's talk a bit about the status quo of, this, of the um, current Polkadot situation. How we do define the value of a, a DeFi parachain. Generally, a DeFi parachain, or a, let's say in simpler terms, a financial service, is uh, measured by different metrics. Probably the most important two are capital efficiency, so the ability to generate uh, a profit, because I don't think there is anyone who is using a financial service to lose money, but actually to have uh, a profit, at least intentionally. And then there is uh, the risk associated. So we have capital efficiency, risk, and in the moment we are able to maximize the capital efficiency and to lower the risk associated, the financial service become pretty attractive. We have seen in the, in the history. So therefore, Polkadot has a, a growing need for DeFi services in order to increase the ecosystem capital efficiency and attract corporate liquidity including institutionals, VC, enterprises, and of course, uh, retails. So let's address the problem right now. The crypto asset uh, needs uh, to generate a value, actually in any market condition, to boost the whole Polkadot capital efficiency. And uh, a financial product that it gets very close to this uh, description is the over-collateralized lending. The current parachains implementation are actually lacking a full comprehensive on-chain solution and cross-chain solu lending solution. On-chain because um, many of the lending uh, products that are on Polkadot uh, are running on top of an uh, EVM Ethereum virtual machine. Therefore, uh, they are running on top of, uh, they're like running on smart contracts and they need an EVM compatible wallet, like a MetaMask, Moonwell, and so forth. And uh, actually there is uh, an existing uh, uh, very great product that allows on-chain lending, that is uh, Interlay, although it's not their own, uh, the first value proposition of the service because they are focused on uh, bridging BTC to Polkadot. And of course, uh, it's, we need uh, a cross-chain lending solution because uh, a lending solution that lends only its own token doesn't really make sense. As we said, there is not a cross-chain lending platform with an on-chain marketplace for liquidation of collaterals. And uh, liquidation of, co of collaterals is a very interesting topic I'm going to talk about. So the opportunity is here. Enabling, enabling parachain crypto asset to safely in any market condition, generate returns instead of sitting idle in your wallets will significantly increase the Polkadot ecosystem capital efficiency. So that's the solution that we are building. This is uh, the file lending platform with a shared infrastructure for uh, on-chain collateral liquidation. It has uh, this feature. Of course, it's a multi-chain asset lending platform. It has uh, a treasury to reward and incentivize lender to provide liquidity. The treasury is collecting fees, borrower fees, the fees that borrowers need to pay to lenders, and also collecting liquidation fees, and uh, aggregate together and uh, distribute those fees uh, to, as a rewards uh, to, liquidity, to lenders uh, as a liquidity providers. And uh, there is also this uh, on-chain collateral liquidation marketplace. Collateral liquidation is a very sensible topic because uh, in the terms of uh, liquidating a collateral is uh, necessary. In the moment, uh, let's say, Alexander, you are uh, lending your own token, you know, and uh, someone else, uh, Ilaria, there, is, want to borrow it. But Ilaria, in order to borrow your token, needs uh, to put some collateral to secure the position. Anyway, if Ilaria is not able to pay back the interest rates, the system needs uh, to take ownership of the collateral and sell it in order to pay back Alexander. 
you know? How we do with selling? For instance, Aave is uh, using a bot that uh, involves a flash loan to buy the, the collateral and pay back the lenders. There are also very creative solutions coming from um, um, Akala that they are um, um, diluting their own token in order to, they mint their own token on the fly, they dilute their own token and then uh, they buy the collateral and repay the lenders. We are creating uh, uh, instead a marketplace that is focused on giving the opportunity to the users to buy the collateral for a discount. So users have uh, an arbitrage opportunity. And let's talk also about some uh, innovative things we are putting, we are creating. So the depth position is determined by the quality of the collaterals. And this is also a very interesting topic because um, let's say that uh, still Alexandra is using as a collateral Polkadot. And Ilaria instead is using um, dead tokens or uh, pink, whatever. No. You can see that uh, Polkadot, of course, is a relay chain token. Pink uh, or uh, dead, it's uh, a meme coin. So for the same value, <coughs> they um, have uh, a different uh, correlated risk. And uh, should they earn the same interest? No, because they there is a different risk factor. Therefore, <coughs> we are implementing uh, a collateral ratio, collateral rating, that uh, is going to determine the debt position of the users and the loan to value, so how much they can actually borrow up front the collateral. We will create a permissionless creation of lending pools. Therefore, a user, we will be able to create a lending pool, you know, and it's something that at the moment is not existing anywhere. So anyone can create its own lending pool with its own token. Also, creation and activation are two different topics. Uh, and two security topics. And uh, we will have an innovative polynomial interest rate to enforce the optimal utilization rate of the lending pools. Actually, it's much simpler than it sounds because um, utilization rate is now, generally, you can see in the compound Aave, it's just a linear function, actually a double is a, is a composition of linear functions. We are going to use this polynomial to enforce the utilization rate of a, of a pool up to 80% in order to have always idle liquidity. And this is necessary, otherwise, like it's happening right now in some lending protocols, users that put their liquidity are not able to close anymore their position, to withdraw anymore their money, because all the liquidity has been borrowed. And this is a big problem. <laughs> People are lending, but they're not able to exit anymore. So we are implementing these new uh, formulas. And uh, of course, Calyx is enabling uh, parachain uh, le lending pools holding cross-chain assets. We will have this automatic treasury process for fee collection that is going to distribute to lenders, but also to Calyx stakers. And um, lending pool parameters are changeable through DAO proposals. So, and now we're talking a little about the marketplace for, or, for the collateral liquidation. We'll have this marketplace where users will be able to bid and create a margin buys on top of a specific price discount. And whenever a collateral needs to be liquidated, it will be executed against these uh, bids. In the moment that there is uh, enough volume, the bids uh, will be consumed, the collateral is going to be liquidated, and the lenders is going to be repaid back. For the user, they are able to get uh, to buy a collateral, so an asset, uh, for a specific discount, up to 5, 15%. Uh, of course, uh, smaller is the premium, higher is the possibility that your order gets executed. And uh, also here we will get uh, a, a liquidation fee that is going to flow directly into the treasury. And that's the beauty of the, our internal treasury. 
So the liquidity collected from interest and liquidation fees flows in this common treasury that uh, then uh, is uh, sequentially distributed in uh, all these possible cases. So we get 10% uh, borrower's interest fees, is the, fee, is the fees that borrowers pay back to lenders. Then there is 1% uh, liquidation fees, uh, also a 20% of network fees. They flow into the treasury that automatically distributes 35% to the lender as lender rewards, 30% as uh, to the Calyx stakers rewards, so the Calyx stakers will have a 5% inflation rate plus uh, the, this 30% of, of the treasury that they happen recurrently. We have a 50% of team for the team development because the project needs to be sustainable. And this uh, is a pretty new thing. 20% governance public goods. So we will create, uh, as an experiment, a small open gov for Kylix. And this uh, liquidity will be used in order to create public goods for the eco Polkadot ecosystem back. You know? So it's going to be, uh, let's say, parachain, anyway, is going to be deprecated as a term, as a platform with its own governance public goods. And these public goods, don't ask me which one will be, because it, they will be defined by the community itself. So a bit about our roadmap. We are working very hard now to release uh, uh, our project in, uh, I mean, uh, first release testnet of Q3 2024. We are getting uh, essentially ready for uh, end of the year to have uh, the first MVP ready with, uh, on, uh, on Paseo. And uh, Q2 of 2025, after a very huge auditing, we're going to release on Polkadot. To sum up, Calix Finance, we are pioneering a new era of lending, advanced lending, by leveraging the capital efficiency of existing Polkadot platform through incentivized on-chain asset lending. Um, here we are. So we are all PBA guys here. These six uh, coming from uh, PBA Hong Kong. The last two fresh ones are coming from PBA Singapore. And uh, right now, we just got a grant from uh, Decentralized Future. They're really, really thankful to them. Uh, at the moment, we are supported by Harbor Industrial Capital in order to get a Pad ID uh, chain slot. We are going to work with the BlockDip, a uh, uh, consultancy company coming from Parity in Berlin. And uh, we will run an auction on Polymac, probably end of August, September. We are already creating collaboration. The first one will be with Akala, and others uh, are uh, running. And uh, that's it. This is uh, our email. Feel free to contact me.